Father, yeah. This is actually your picture. And I'm just interpreting something that I see in my head and what I think she might want. You know, the paper I got. We're ready. It's all you, Father. All I'm doing is painting my number. I think I did it. That's sweet. That is just plain sweet. You know, after all that, finally, I stopped and prayed. And when I prayed, I came up with this. I wouldn't have been able to come up with this on my own. I worked and worked and worked on my own. But then when Yah joined in, I've been working a long time, and this is what I came up with. Oh, that's beautiful. So you think that might work a little? Yes, I do. I do think it would work. We want that. We want that representation of faith, the dove coming, and the uh, the two people under the uh, the chupa of flowers. It's a beautiful. It's a beautiful. It's just a little bitty thing, but it's so full of cool things. <laughs> anyway, why is this book so important? Because I did the picture on the cover. Don't you remember? Anyway, I'm going to show you how I painted this picture, put it together, and then we're going to talk about the book today in the fabulous traveling art studio. This way. <laughs> I had a great idea for a book. Now, I know Janet because she was trying to teach me Hebrew and she teaches the Torah studies here at the Restoration. But why don't you tell me about your book? Well, it's called Your Wedding as Witness and uh, it combines traditions that are Judeo-Christian traditions and the reasons that they are um, traditions, what they symbolize in our faith. The wedding in Judeo-Christian faith is actually a, a festival, a precursor to what we can look forward to in our life with Yeshua. We, um, we will become his bride and we will um, in inhabit with him. I am um, uh, just trying to help others to use their wedding to give witness to this fact. I think it was a couple years ago that Janet wanted me to do the illustration for her book. So I went to work and I came up with this. It was such a neat picture. So now she wants this to actually be on the book. So we have to put all the words in it and everything. Well, as you can see, I already got started with that a while ago. I chose this purple background because I thought, well, I looked around at wedding colors and this purple was a big wedding color. But she wants it a little bit more purple than that. Anyway, let's, let's take a look at what I got so far. All right, I think I'm gonna just take that out. There you go. I don't know. I thought I had a perfect, no, I didn't. <laughs> we just move it around a bit, I guess. That's all we do. Move it around until it looks just right. So this book is really new. It starts out with all of the traditions, why we do things, and it talks a lot about the Song of Solomon and how Yeshua is my bridegroom and then it goes on to how to build the chupa, how to build one and then it has tips on what to do with your own wedding and a couple of little stories. I don't know. I, I think this is the neatest little book. I'm really proud to be part of it. Here's one that I like, the ring. In its traditional meaning, 
The circular configuration of the ring represents eternal love. Jewish tradition sees the ring as an item of value, representing the bride price from Deuteronomy 27. That's a Bible study, huh? Yenamite Jews still use a coin instead of a ring in the ceremony. In Judaism, the ring given to the bride is to be plain and unadored, thus she will not be confused as to its value, and it will prevent competition in the community. <laughs> oh, I love it. The blood of Yeshua is of great value. It is a price paid for us as a bride and friend. The fact is, you don't belong to yourselves. For you were bought with a price. Holy cow! 1 Corinthians 6.19 You were bought with a price. So she's saying that the bride price is whatever the groom decided to pay for the bride. And my bride price was Yeshua when he died on the cross for my sin. Oh, wow. That is mind-blowing. My bride price just went up a bunch. Holy cow. Anyway, I'm going to finish reading this book. Oh, it's great. <laughs> so like I said, I don't think I'll ever get married again. But this is the kind of book that you just like to keep just because it's got some really cool information in it. I'm so proud to be part of this. This book, oh my goodness. You get the book, read the book, and then later you can put it in, remember this picture that I did. It was God inspired. Anyway, until later, you get the book. This was a book review. I hope you find your yeah. You will if you read this book. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to work in here. <laughs> In its traditional meaning, the circular configuration of the ring represents eternal love. Jewish tradition <sighs> Here's one that I like. The ring. In its traditional meaning, the circular configuration of the ring represents eternal <sighs> Here's one that I like. The ring. In its traditional meaning, the circular